Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Some, some people say they're black. Some people say they're Mexican. No, that's confusion. You hear that? So the truth of who we are, would you agree that it's hidden? Listen, listen, people hear you, brother. People hear your nationality. People, the hidden ones, guess what? There's a nation of people that hate God who actually conspire to keep them from knowing who they are. You don't know you're an Israelite. I just pointed to that sign and asked you where you see yourself on that sign. Where do you see yourself? Do they call you African American? Do they call you West Indian or Jamaican or Haitian? Do they call you Puerto Rican? What do they call you? When you go and fill out an application, what do you check for ethnicity? What I'm trying to do is drop the seed so that you can do what? Go and research. The Lord said, don't just take a man for what he say. Try him by the spirit. You know why they wouldn't let us read for so long? Because everything about us is here. That's right. And if we if we figure out, hey, we better than this, we're gonna attain to better. Remember, if you know better, you're gonna do what? You're gonna do better. That's right. So if you don't know better, if you don't know any better, if you know what that teach you, which is nigger programming, you're gonna continue to be a nigger at the bottom. It's time for us to turn the light on and wake up and walk out that room right. that That's we right. sleep in. We're not niggas no more. Right. We Bring can read. Out. That's right. We can read. We've never been niggas, but we've been programmed to be that. The, the, the deprogramming has to start now. That's right. Okay? The deprogramming started with you when you took your hat off. Right. You understand that? You ever heard this information before? You being an Israelite? Never heard it before. It just happened to walk up on us screaming on the mic. I saw y'all was walking to the store and I came back. I don't know All praises. All praises. If you got any questions, don't let me just talk your head off. Interact with us. That's cool. Continue to think. And we're going to continue to read. All right, read. And they say, who sees us? And who knows us? Who sees us? And who knows us? Hold that. Let's go to Psalms 83. Because it ain't just one particular man in the earth. The Lord said, woe to them that seek deep to have their counsel from the Lord. So that's more than just one. Them is plural, okay? So it's not just one. Let's read Psalms 83. Who confederate? Bring it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse one. Bring it out. Keep not thy silence, O God. So this is a prayer. This is what you and I should be praying. We asking the Lord, when we turning back to him, understanding who we are. Don't keep silent no more, Lord. We hear, we understand. For a long time, the Lord has been allowing babies to get killed. For a long time, the Lord has been allowing our people to suffer poverty. He's been allowing these different things. He's been allowing a nation to rule over us. He's been allowing these things for a long time. He's been, he's been quiet about it. But now we're asking in our prayer, black man, Hispanic man, this is what we're asking them. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. The Lord has enemies. And us as the children of God, we inherit those same enemies. Bring it out! Not one enemy. The Christian church will tell you that Satan is the enemy. But what's on the end of that? Read. And they that hate thee have no beat their enemies. For lo, thy enemies have you hear that? Enemies. What's on the end of enemy? Make a tumult. Thy enemies. It's an S on the end of enemies. It's not just one. It's not just some spiritual serpent, Satan. No, the Lord said, thine enemies. Remember, in the previous scripture we read in Isaiah 29, them seek deep to hide their counsel. Why would, why would you speak about one person in that form? I, they, them, who do, who do that today? Who refer to themselves as they and them? And you're talking about one person. That's confusion, ain't it? It's confusion. 
the Lord ain't built, he ain't working with confusion. He's telling you there's specific people who are God's enemies. Let's read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. A tumult, that's an angry gathering. They make a meeting, right? Like I said at the UN. Who's representing us at the UN? These nations are at the UN. They're counseling. They're hiding or, or they're seeking deep to have their counsel. They're coming up with certain plots and plans and procedures to do what? Keep the world running as it's running today. And the only way to keep this world running as it's running today is if we continue in a cycle of niggerdom. Right? Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Read it with power. Let's go. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Who would hate God? Why would a person hate God? Bring it out. Think about it. Why would a person hate God? God is the best thing on the earth. God set this earth how it's set right now. Right. It's so far away from the sun that you don't melt out. And it's so far away from it that you don't burn up. Right. right. He That's set right. the sun in the sky so that these things can grow. Right. So that food can grow on the earth and that you can eat the food that's in the earth. Why would you hate an entity that provides for you? Bring it up. Why would you hate your creator? Read that again. I want you to think on it. And I want to an answer from you. Why would a person hate God? Read. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Thy enemy, they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So for a while, those are people who wasn't strong enough or confident enough to rise up in the earth. Now, these people are prideful. They hate God, and they have lifted up their head. That's pride. When you lift your head up, you got your head in the air. You ever heard that? You looking down on people. You snobbish. They lifted up their head. At one point, these people were humble. But now, these people have lifted up their head. And what have they done? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against God's people. That's a separation. The people that hate God, hate his people, and they've done a counsel against his people. Read. And consulted against thy hidden one. The United Nations, they did what? And consulted against thy hidden one. What's your identity? What's your nationality? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? You real? I can't hear you. Who are you? What's your nationality? Who are you? What's your nationality? Is it obvious in the world who we are? Is it obvious who we are? Who are we as a people? What's our, what's our nationality? The Bible said we're hidden. We are hidden, right? It's a confusion. Some, some people say they're black. Some people say they're Mexican. No, that's confusion. You hear that? So the truth of who we are, would you agree that it's hidden? Listen, listen, people hear you, brother. People hear your nationality. Three. Verse four, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Go back and read the hidden, read that part. Verse three, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. His people, the hidden ones, guess what? There's a nation of people that hate God who actually conspire to keep them from knowing who they are. You don't know you're an Israelite. I just pointed to that sign and asked you where you see yourself on that sign. Where do you see yourself? Do they call you African American? Do they call you West Indian or Jamaican or Haitian? They call you Puerto Rican? What do they call you? When you go and fill out an application, what do you check for ethnicity? You say black? African. So your, your father was an African American, correct? Look at that sign, look at the top, on the top. What's the name on the top? Judah, you are from the tribe of Judah, right? From the nation of Israel, from the tribe of Judah, that's where you are from. But that was hidden from you, right? Yes, what I'm trying to do is drop the seed so that you can do what? Go and research. The Lord said, don't just take a man for what he say. Try him by the spirit. So that means you got some searching to do. Absolutely, absolutely. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Omar? Listen, there's a hidden people in this earth today. Would you agree that there's a, a group of people that's hidden who don't know who they truly are? 
meaning they call themselves one name, but that's not really their name. Would you agree that these people right here don't know who they are? Who are these people? Huh? Slaves? Are, do you descend from slaves? Yeah, okay. So what's your nationality? African-American, who told you that? Your mom and your daddy told you you're African-American. Where does that term come from? Both of you, where does the term African-American come from? Bring it out! Africa and America. These are the names of two white men. So when you trace your name back, you're supposed to be able to say, oh, you come from that seed. You come from that man. Do you come from a man named Africa? A white man named Africa? How about you? Okay, you don't come from a white man named Africa. How about a white man named America? You come from a white man named America. So your daddy was a white man from the line. No, you don't. Those are missed names that was put on you to do what? To hide your true identity. Yes, right. Your identity has to be hidden. They did, they spent so much, they spent night and day to keep you asleep. Because if you stay asleep, remember what I told you, this, this system does what? It repeats and everything remains as it is. With us on the bottom, let's read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said- We are the hidden ones, we read in the Bible. This is the book of Psalms in the King James Bible, chapter 83, okay? We're reading the Bible. This Bible is our book. You understand that? You ever read the Bible before? You ever heard this information before? You ever seen men standing on the corner adamant about teaching the Bible before? Some, some, hey, some, some, some different. We ain't in them churches standing up, jumping in hallelujah. We ain't doing that. We ain't asking for no money. We ain't trying to play like we got the Holy Ghost running around on the floor. We're speaking in tongues in a language that you don't understand. We speaking to you in a way that you understand, right? Yes, you got questions, we here to answer them questions. You don't get that in the church, so don't equate us with the church. That's not what we are. We're not today's modern day Christian church. We are the Israelites. Yes, we right. here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are royalty. Yes, I see right. Christ in you, brother. I see God in you, brothers. That's right. And it's time for us to change. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to wake y'all up, all right? Now listen, listen at this. Listen how true this is, read. Verse four, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. The name of who? Israel shall no more be in remembrance. The name Israel has been taken from your remembrance. The name of Israel has been given to you. For a heritage. Right. But your mother and father forgot that. Right. And they right. called you something else. You're not an African American. You're an Israelite. That's right. And they counsel was successful to a degree to make us forget. Right. Because the Lord said a, a few elect of us in the end will do what? We will read this book and we will realize something's off. Bring it out. This Bible is talking about us. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.